72. Convert each perspective formula into a Newman projection. So let's start with the first example. Now let's look at these two groups, the ones that are not on a wedge or a dash. Notice that the methyl and the hydrogen, they're anti to each other. And let's draw the Newman projection along the C2-C3 bond. So on carbon 2, this group is going down. So I'm going to draw this form of the Newman projection as opposed to this form. So here's the methyl group. It's going down and hydrogen's going up. Hydrogen's on carbon three, so it's anti with respect to it. Now, hydrogen and the ethyl group, they're going into the page. Those groups, they're going to be on the left side of the Newman projection. Bromine and chlorine, they're coming out of the page. So when you view it this way, they're going to appear on the right side. So focusing on carbon 2, we have bromine in the upper right side and hydrogen in the upper left side. So here's bromine in the upper right side because it's on the wedge. It's coming out of the page. And here's hydrogen in the upper left side. It's on the dash. It's going into the page. Now moving on to carbon 3. The chlorine atom is on the wedge coming out of the page, so we're going to put that on the right side. The same with the bromine atom. The ethyl group is on a dash. It's going into the page, so it's going to be on the same side as hydrogen. That is on the left side, but attached to carbon-3. So that is the Newman projection that is equivalent to this perspective formula. So that's how we can convert a perspective formula into a Newman projection. So remember, if it's on the wedge, put it on the right side. If it's on the dash, put it on the left side. And then pay attention to these groups to see if they're anti to each other, if they're on the same side, to know if you have the staggered or eclipse conformation. Now let's focus on the next one. Here's carbon 2, here's carbon 3. Notice that the methyl group is on top as opposed to being on the bottom. So we're going to draw the other version of the Newman projection. So the methyl group, is, instead of going down, it's going to go up. So here is that methyl group. And here are the other parts of the structure. Now the methyl group and the anti group, I mean, the methyl group and the ethyl group are anti with each other. So if the methyl is going up, the ethyl group is going to be going down on carbon 3. Now in carbon 2, we have a hydrogen and a fluorine. The hydrogen is on a dash, so we're going to put that on the left side. The fluorine is on the wedge, it's coming out of the page. We're going to put that on the right side. Now, moving on to carbon-3, we have an OH and an H. The hydrogen is on a dash. It's going into the page the same, in the same direction as the other hydrogen. So these two will be on the same side. The hydroxyl group is coming out of the page, which is on the same side as fluorine. So they're both going to the right. So that's how we can convert this particular perspective formula into a Newman projection. So remember, if it's on the wedge, put it on the right. If it's on the dash, put it on the left side. Now, I want to take a moment to let you know that the video that you're currently watching only represents one test question out of the 90 questions that are found in my Organic Chemistry 1 Exam 1 video. So for those of you who want access to the full video, check out the links in the description section below this video.
Now let's get back to the problem.